Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Another beautiful day, another beautiful summer day in Victoria, Australia. So, what are we going to talk about today? Today is a very happy day for me because I think I have managed to solve an ongoing problem that I've had with the BMW DS and my cargo unit. Now, I think this issue may be only related to the cargo units and the BMW GS Adventure GS combination but I'm not sure if other units are also uh, giving you the same issue but essentially what I'm trying to say here is that with the BMW GS you've got the function where you actually connect your intercom system or your Bluetooth headset system to the motorcycle and then you connect your motorcycle to, sorry, you connect your mobile phone to the motorcycle as well. So essentially what happens is the motorcycle serves or the, the, the instrument cluster on the bike serves as a, as a middleman. So it's going to receive Bluetooth connectivity from your phone as well as going to receive Bluetooth connectivity from your comms device. And then that allows you, so it, 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 it links your phone to your comms device via the um, instrument cluster or the ECU or the brains of the motorbike. But the problem that uh, has, or the problem that I'm facing, um, and also another friend of mine is also facing with the same setup, is that when we actually connect our phone to the system and then we connect our comms to the motorcycle, um, what happens is when you try to play audio, play songs and so on, it becomes really patchy. So when I say patchy, is that it almost feels like the, the music just tends to stop, pause and play and pause and play and pause and play. And that gives you a headache because it's really, really bad connection. So uh, I've tried to do several things. I've tried to update the firmware on the um, comm system. I've tried to look up on forums and stuff. I really I know I found some complaints about it, but no one has had a solution. So essentially there really isn't a straightforward solution to this. But what I've managed to do is I've managed to use the functionality of the um, comm system and make it work in my benefit. So let's talk a bit about it. So I'm sure that uh, all of us have a primary mobile phone that we all use. And we also will have a secondary mobile phone. Now, a secondary mobile phone could possibly be a phone that your older phone and so on uh, that you no longer use because you purchased a brand new fancier phone. Uh, and that phone might just be lying in your drawer somewhere, not used. And even your kids don't want it because it's not the coolest phone in the market anymore. So what do you do with the phone? You mount it to your bike. So. Let's talk about what I've done here. So if you are familiar with the Cardo Pactock uh, bowl or even the newer Cardo Pactock Edge, I think it's called, um, they actually work on a mesh system where they can connect up to 15 riders and so on with a dynamic mesh system, which is really cool. But the other functionality also is it can actually connect multiple mobile devices to the unit. So essentially what that's designed for is the first connection is for your mobile phone and the second connection is for like a GPS unit or even a second mobile phone and so on. And that's to, um, to aid in you know, uh, two comms uh, or, or modes of media transmission. So that's a, that's a good thing about, about the Cardo. I'm not sure if other comms devices have got similar functionality. But essentially what I've done here is I have actually connected, what I've made is I've connected my mobile phone, my primary phone in which my SIM card is uh, and, and where, which I use for my phone calls and so on. This phone is connected into the BMW um, motorcycle so via the connection function you can connect your 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 motor, your phone into the motorcycle and then what i've done is i have then gone and connected the um, comms unit 
uh, also to the uh, motorcycle under the um, I'll just show you what I'm trying to say here so hopefully that's clear so essentially back to what I was saying earlier if you go under your settings of the motorcycle there is an option for connections so in the connections there is a mobile device so that mobile device the pixel 6 here is essentially my primary mobile device that I'm holding in my hand not this one here but this one that is in my hand and I've got my rider helmet which is the first rider helmet at the moment it's saying it's not connected because it's not turned on so let me just turn on the comms so I've turned on the comms and it should eventually connect to um, the bike there you go so now you can see that my pack talk bowl is actually connected to the bike so that's the the standard setup that's that's what everyone does and with this setup you get patchy audio what i've then gone to do is i've got my spare phone here which i mount into the bmw motred connected cradle i'm just going to put in my password so essentially that's my my spare old phone now this phone doesn't have a sim card so what i i do is i actually wirelessly tether internet from my mobile phone to this phone so this phone picks up Wi-Fi from my mobile phone and what that allows me to do now it is allows me to use my BMW connected app in which I can um, do uh, various things so uh, so I can use my maps I can use you know various other functionality which you all will be uh, familiar with but ultimately what I want is I want to be able to listen to music so I for example use YouTube music as my my primary um, source of audio and I just um, listen to uh, uh, music um, from here and when I actually do that um, the the audio isn't patchy so because the phone is connected to your cardo unit as a second device so your cardo is still going to be able to play the audio from this phone and there's not going to be any patchiness and at the same time you will still be able to use all your other functions which is um, so for example if you wanted to uh, make a phone call that phone function and everything will still work uh, pretty much um, as uh, before so or the only thing that won't work is you can't use the media function anymore uh, well you can but essentially it'll try to then play media from your primary phone which is not what you want so the media function you won't be able to use but you can use your telephone function so you can still make phone calls you can still answer phone calls when you're riding and your audio will be streamed from this phone here so no more patchiness and it's a good uh, way around in my opinion so i hope that actually makes sense so there you go guys i hope that actually makes sense so essentially what i'm actually telling you is if you've got an old phone and if you don't have your and you would no use for your old phone use that old phone as a mode of you to transmit audio into your helmet because if you're using your primary phone it's just going to be patchy now look i think this problem is only with the cardo pack talk system uh, possibly even the new pack talk edge um, i know that uh, two of my other friends have got the pack talk bowl the same model that i've got and they have got the exact same problem that i'm having so i definitely know that this will solve the problem for those who are using the pack talk bowl and look you may be having a Senna system or you may be having a, 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 a Freecom system or, or maybe even the PacTalk H, you know, who knows. Uh, I haven't tried them out and they probably won't have this issue and which means you won't have to have that secondary phone. But if you're using a PacTalk Bolt 
or if your comm system is giving you the current issue that I've just explained. So then what you can do is you can try to connect a second mobile phone to your communication system and stream audio from that instead. And that should uh, theoretically solve the problem. And remembering with the BMW GS as well, it's a boxer twin engine, it actually is quite wide. So I wouldn't actually recommend putting your latest iPhone or latest Google phone or whatever phone that you've got, which you've paid an arm and a leg for, I wouldn't recommend you mounting it on there because the vibrations will actually pretty much uh, muck up your uh, gyro sensors on your camera. So it's probably not a very good idea to do that anyway. So if you've got your old phone, just use that. Lift this phone in your tank bag, put it in your pocket. You can leave it in a tank bag and just leave it on charge and just stream the Wi-Fi from that. So it's really not going to be of any issues anyway. And you know what, your, your second phone, you can just leave it uh, uh, mounted onto your connected cradle or you can leave it mounted onto your uh, quad lock mounts if you have or you know for all that matters you can even just leave it in your pocket it doesn't really matter where it is where it's kept as long as you connect two separate devices to your comms device that should solve the problem so I hope this helps guys uh, I'm not sure if that was clear enough I tried to explain it as best as I could uh, if you've got any questions, please leave it in the comment sections below. I'll be more than happy to assist and answer your questions if you've got any questions. Um, again, uh, thank you for watching this video and thank you for your support. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up. Do like, do share, do subscribe. And also, not to forget, I mentioned in my last video, I've got my Buy Me, Buy me A Coffee page, which I now uh, regularly post articles on write-ups on i tend to do it every two to three days once so there are heaps there for you to read um, and you know if you want to be a supporter you can always buy me a coffee you could become a member or you know what just follow the channel there's a follow button on the top right three dots there's a follow button just follow and you should get updates to all the posts that comes up this is just a way for me to be connected with my followers and hopefully share with you my thoughts and a bit more of interaction so thank you again guys for your support and i'll see you in the next one cheers bye